So in today's video, we're looking at video conferencing, video uploads, and video verification on Google My Business. Everything you need to know about videos. And of course, videos are a really big part of the internet these days. It's no surprise that Google bought YouTube many years back. And now the second biggest search engine itself is YouTube. So YouTube, Google, well, of course, the two are going to want to use them when it comes to Google My Business. And that's what we're going to look at today, how video can really enhance your Google My Business listing. So welcome to this video. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design, and I help businesses grow on the internet. So if you have a business and you want it to grow, then you'll know that Google My Business is a great way to optimize it and to help it to be seen and to visually get calls from local people, local customers to your business. So if you haven't already done so, then you need to make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss the next tip that's going to help you grow your business and particularly using tools like Google My Business and Google My Business videos is what we're going to look at today. So Google My Business videos, really, there's three types of areas, maybe even four, you could say, that videos are included on. First of all, when you upload photos, you'll see that on many occasions you can upload videos as well. So whether it's a post, uh, whether it's a, an event, there's the alternative of having a video for that rather than just a photo. So that's going to make you stand out compared to your competitors. But also, did you see recently the release of video conferencing? So we know about Hangouts, Zoom, um, Skype. Those areas now are starting to be integrated so that you can then have conference calls with your clients. So how do you integrate that in? Well, it's a bit half-baked at the moment, but we're going to see what you can do to make sure you're ahead and ready to take online bookings, conferencing and video conferencing with your customers. And then finally, another thing that's just been released is the ability to verify your business, but using video conferencing or using video. So we'll see again what we can do and what we can't do and what Google is encouraging businesses to do when it comes to verification using video. So let's dive straight in and see those three areas. And also we'll see about the 360. We'll just remind you of something you may not have done so far. But you can even have a 360 degree video of your office or your business. I'll show you how you can do that too. So let's have a look and dive straight in. Before I come on to some of the new features that uh, have been released regarding video, let's just first of all go back to how you can add video. So you can either do it here by add photo, or you can click on photos here. So let's click on photos. And there you'll then see that even though you've got photos mainly here, you also have an area for videos. So 360 and video are the two areas you can add video. So if you click on plus here, it says here you can select photos and videos. So this is kind of a dual purpose way of doing it. Or you can go into video here and you can add videos or you can go into 360. So let's just add a video first of all. So what type of video would you need to add if it as a business owner? Well, it may be one of the office, it may be one of staff. Uh, what other things could you do? Maybe an explainer video, how a product works if you're selling it, or how a service works. It could be a presentation, or it just could be a case of showing people around the office. So I'm just gonna upload a video. There are a few requirements when it comes to uploading a video. So. I'm just going to upload one of the office here. Um, so just bear in mind as you upload it that the video needs to be less than 30 seconds or shorter. It needs to be 100 megabytes or smaller and 720p resolution or it can be higher. So those are the kind of the limitations. So they're not they're not after a YouTube video that's uh, 10, 20 minutes. They're just after a quick tour, just a few moments so that people can see what the videos, uh, what, what the office looks like or what uh, the product does. So you can see that's uploading now. And if it's accepted, then it will then show. If it's uh, not accepted, they normally give you an idea as to why. Maybe it's too large or not uh, the right size. So let's see if this is it. it's been accepted. 
So while that's uploading, let's just talk about a bonus of 360 as well. So 360 is really cool because it gives you an opportunity to um, show your uh, area and also it gives you an opportunity to show your office as well. So this is a really useful way of giving people a tour in 360. And how do you go about it and how do you do it for free? Well, I wrote this article recently. I'll put the link down below and you'll be able to go there to see that there's a video there to show you exactly how you can do it for free. Um, so you'll be able to click on these links and it'll take you to the exact part of the video. Um, but as it mentions here, professionals would charge around about £500 to do this and have special equipment. So if you've got a large office, you may well need to take them up on that particular level of um, service. But if you can use Street View, which is an app, you download that to your phone, then very quickly you can then use Street View. You can then film your office in Street View by just tapping around um, and following the process. And then, of course, it produces this particular type of a result, which is really useful. So if you wanted to uh, find out how to do that, that's another little video tip as well to suggest for you. So let's just go back and see how this video is getting on. So that's still going to upload and that will take its time. So we're now going to move on to the second area. And this is more of a new area that's just come in in the last week. And it's regarding video conferencing. So adding video conferencing on Google My Business. So the second area, of course, is a bit of confusion because it's not kind of fully functioning yet. But if you see connect in real time with video, this is connected with the idea that uh, online classes, on-site services, online estimates, online appointments, all these things are very much now a new thing that Google's trying to establish in Google My Business. So we'll come on to that in a moment. But if you click on here, what this does at the moment is just sets up the first or the main four that can provide those types of conferencing services. So if you wanted to use video conferencing, then you can uh, go to any one of these that's your preference, but it doesn't quite work as such yet. So if I click one of these, so this is Google Meet. Uh, so you sign in and then you start a meeting, you'll get a link and then you share that link with those that you want to conference with. And how do you share it? Well, it doesn't then tend to go any further than that at this particular moment. All you do is, as it says here, you just let people know that you take online or you do online classes, you use one of these facilities, and then you also may want to update your site or your booking so that people can see that's what you do. So let me just explain what that is. So Google Meet, we've opened that. Um, WebEx will open that. I'll just open all four. And I'll try and make this as clear as I can. So here we've got the four conferencing tools that Google wants you to use. You can use any of them. So if you're familiar with any of these, then just use the one by signing in with your account. And in this case here, I can create a free meeting and that will then give me a link. Uh, same with Zoom, I can do that with a free one there and just uh, host a meeting and that will give me a link. Same here with Cisco WebEx and same here with Google Meet. So what I'll do, I'll just sign in with Google Meet. There you go, so I can put a code in or I can put a new meeting. So I put a new meeting and uh, I can then get a meeting link. So if I press that, that copies it. So that there is my address and all it means then is, and it's the same, you'll do that with any of these ones. All it means then is you can now copy that link into one of these services. So notice here, sign up with a provider to start offering online classes. Now, I'll just explain what that means. There's another new facility that was released recently, and you'll notice it's down here. So when you get to uh, appointment links and products, and actually that's no, down here, highlights, and then service options. So at the moment, I take online appointments through a booking form on my computer, on my uh, website. Uh, I've just Try this on-site services. So if I click on these, so you can pick these, click on these. If they're approved, you get an opportunity to then put the link in. And I'm just wondering whether one of these will enable me eventually to put that particular link. So that link there, and I did try it and it didn't allow me to, but that's because I've already got mine booked up with my website. But I think these four things here are going to eventually talk with these attributes here and these services. And probably over the next few weeks, you'll then be able to offer online classes, services, estimates or appointments using video conferencing. Now, before you do that, though, 
you may just want to do what else Google says, which is just update your reference here. So if you wanted to get that video conferencing up and running, you could just put on here, speak with me live on Mondays at 5 p.m. on, and then I can put that link. And that's another way of people contacting me uh, because that link, of course, came from when I copied this here. And that would be then a case of from five o'clock, maybe I could just accept um, some video conferencing from anyone that has questions for me. So hopefully that makes some sense to you and that clarifies why they've come up with these four and also the fact that it doesn't really work yet. So they've kind of got it in place, but it's half baked at this stage. And the final thing I want to look at with you is Google My Business video verification. And this is a new thing as well. And this is really useful because so often verification issues seem to be happening and businesses struggle to get verified. Uh, and so here's the way in which you can do it. So in the past, you could verify it through a phone call or through um, email on occasions, but mainly it was done through the post, through postcard. Because Google also gives you other opportunities. So not only by mail, which is the main way, and postcard, but also there are other ways as well. So it mentions here by phone, by email, and you can instantly verify business or do bulk verification. But there's one more thing, and it's called video verification. And I'll show you that here. So video verification, so there are some now receiving this, so I haven't received this, but I found this that you can actually, you're eligible, some businesses are eligible to be verified via video verification. Now it says video verification is an experimental method. Now I think this is a great method to, to have it done. And it says there, what next? A confirmation that you'd like to verify your business location via video, video verification and the best time for the video call. So this is a third area of videoing now video verification that's coming through through Google. So Google's offering this as an alternative verification option. And I think this is going to make life a lot easier going forward for businesses wanting to be verified with Google. So there you go. We've seen several ways in which video is being used and continuing to being used by Google. And let's just go back finally to see if our video was uploaded. So if I go to video, and there we have the video. It's now uploaded and it should play. And it does play as well. So that's fine. So that shows how you upload your video as well. So thanks for watching this. If you want to know how though to optimize your Google My Business, then this video here is ideal for you. So I'll meet you over there.